Hi guys, I'm going to be playing War Robots on the iPhone 14 Pro Max and I am going to be using the backbone as the game controller. Right, I just need to turn on this uh, sound. Right, so basically I'm using the iPhone 12 to record. I'm going to go into the workshop. Right, let me play a few games because I need to um, pay for this. Um, it's just easier if I play a few games. Right, um, so let me just find out what the tasks are. The only reason I'm doing this by touching the screen is to, to do it quicker, yeah? You can you can easily use this uh, cursor, but it's just easier if I do it, you know, just quicker this way, you know? I told you that if you double tap on the screen, um, then this um, thing goes quicker. Let's see if there's anything uh, being given out. Nothing at the moment. Like I said, you can use, you can easily use your joysticks, but it's much quicker, you know, because I want to play other games. Right, so I want to find out what the tasks are. It says watch one video. Okay, fine, that I'll do later. Deal 500,000 damage in a single battle. Right, okay, cool. Uh, I've got Erebus, I've got two uh, Fafnias, I've got a Loki, and I've got uh, Angler, and I've got in the background Balu Nuchindo. Right, so I'm gonna jump into a match. He needs me to do 500,000 damage. Right, uh, so let's see, I'll use Erebus first. So the Erebus has got. Erebus has got um, a Stellar Prisma and a, a Terramok Hell. Those red uh, weapons are like freeze weapons. Like I told you last time, uh, this robot does have an ability with a cannon. So the, so the pilot does support. Um, when I say the pilot supports, I'm talking about mainly the the back cannon. I think it's called a cannon. Uh, fires a um, fires like this weapon thing. Now, when that hits the robot, it actually causes damage to the robot. So healing is not from just press A. Whatever's written on the screen, that's what you press, yes, for healing. Oh yeah, you know, you know, I got um, a Poco M6 Pro. Uh, a sound phone so now I'm, I'm planning to buy a um, a backbone with a type C you know the, the only reason I didn't buy the backbone with type C is because my iPhone is the older version iPhone so the backbone that I bought for the iPhone this one is not um, the one with the type C uh, but now that I've got a phone that's got type C on it I kind of decided, since I've got a phone with a Type-C, I can now get the backbone with a Type-C. Obviously, I mean, it's not interesting to see what games uh, play like, you know? The Samsung is quite big, uh, and I did tell you guys, I prefer using the, the what you call this thing. I just prefer using uh, the DualSense controller with, uh, with the Samsung. Uh, because I, I play games mostly using the, um, the Joseph's controller with, um, with Samsung. So, I, I've never had, I've never had a use, I've never had a use scenario where I've required uh, to use a gamepad on the Samsung. But obviously I do have that co uh, controller, the one I told you guys about, the bsp d 3 and that is a Bluetooth uh, controller. So obviously, that controller on its own, uh, it's a Bluetooth. It's, it's the one I told you guys about that works with um, PUBG, but it only works, um, it only works um, in the arena. You know, the team death matches, it doesn't work uh, properly with, uh, what you call this thing? It doesn't work properly in um in the battle royale i mean it, it probably would work but um you can't actually assign the buttons 
But in arena, I made a small video. I only made two videos about it, but I, I just used the BSP dash G3. Uh, I, when I'm playing Fortnite, I will show you the, the gamepad I'm talking about. It's just a Bluetooth gamepad. And basically, um, you can play uh, PUBG Mobile, but just the arena one. Now, the, the app I told you guys about, that's available on Play Store, I paid for it, $10. And this app that I paid for does allow the use of the DualSense controller in games such as PUBG. And um, the, okay, let's, I'm waiting for this guy to kind of land so I can attack him with my mothership. There you go. Look at that. He's suffering damage. He's just he's still moving. It's even better this way. Uh, he's going to die right there. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yes, nice one. It's just been a pain. Right, so basically, like I said, uh, like I said, um, oh, come on, man. Right, so I'm going to use uh, my Baloo uh, looting door. It's just going to be easier to maybe capture a few beacons. Right, so like I said, uh, let me jump. Right, there you go. Right, so basically, um, because I've got the Poco, the Xiaomi phone, I'm going to get the um, back phone with the Type C. Um, I can actually, oh yeah, I was, I was talking about the app that allows um, me to use um, the DualSense controller in any game I want to play. Right, so this, this gamepad controller, Um, I mean the the app itself. The app itself um, does allow me to use the or should allow me to use the, um, this thing is running away. Why doesn't he just stay there so I can attack him? I don't get this type of people that uh, they they they, they want to attack you, but they want to attack you from a distance. It's just dumb right so basically you know this is not about capturing beacons it's about uh, causing damage ah that's a hell banner so this guy's gonna explode and then i'm gonna cause emp uh this this like i said the game that i'm playing is not about capturing beacons it's just mainly about uh, causing damage right so like i said um the app i paid for from play store uh cost ten dollars it's a lifetime, you know, you, you pay once. It should allow me to use the Joseph's controller now because you have to add the Joseph's controller to the app and then I should be able to use the Joseph's controller in PUBG Mobile. So since I'm going to be doing uh, gaming on my Samsung today, I'm going to show you guys the app because it's not available on the, place, on the App Store. It's only available on Play Store. So uh, obviously when I start playing games, I'll show you the app that I'm talking about. And um, hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I will be able to then um, use my um, DualSense controller on PUBG Mobile. Uh, because the, from what I, I, I understand, uh, from what I understand, the person who actually promotes, uh, promoted uh, the YouTube video, you know, like uh, for the app, said all you do is add your controller to the app and uh, the game that you want to play on. And that's it. And then the, like PUBG Mobile, and it should just accept the, the DualSense controller as a gamepad. It doesn't write DualSense, it just recognizes it as a gamepad. And then it should allow you to actually... So that means I'll be able to play PUBG now with the DualSense controller. And I should be able to make a video of that, you see? So I've not tested it yet. I did pay for the app. I didn't actually add... I haven't added the... I've not added the, the DualSense controller yet to the app. But it's a, uh, it should be simple enough. It's just adding uh, the DualSense uh, to, the, to the app itself. And uh, then it recognizes the DualSense. And then uh, I think you can add games to the app itself. So I don't know if you have to start the games in the app or you just play the game and then uh, have the app running like on, uh, you know, like as a widget on your screen, like uh, just something you can move about because you need to allow it to run on your screen, isn't it? Or for Android. 
so i haven't tested it yet but uh, i will be doing a video today talking about this because uh, pubg is a game that i've been wanting to play for a very long time with a controller and if it does work with the dual sense then hey you know that'll be something new eh? 